Hello, I'm Roger Filborn, and welcome to the Cottage Grove Budget Edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We have a very special guest with us today, Jane Smith from Cottage Grove. How are you, Jane? <laughs> I'm great. I'm excited to be here, Roger. Oh, that's, that's great. We're happy to have you with us. And now, on to the rules for the viewers at home. Answer questions, win money. It's pretty simple. Okie dokie, are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? For your $100 question. What will be the total levy for the city of Cottage Grove in 2019? Is it A, $1 million, B, $15,695,000, C, $2 million, or D, $1,000? I'll pick B. $15,695,000? Is that your final answer, Jane? It's my final answer. <laughs> That's great. That's correct. It is $15,695,000. For 2019, the total levy increased by 3%. Due to the increase in average tax value this past year, most taxpayers will pay about the same in city tax for 2019 as they did in 2018. Now, Jane, on to your $200 question. On average, how much property taxes goes to the city? Is it A, $900 per year, B, $5,000 per year, C, $2,500 per year, or D, $5 per year? $900 seems correct. <laughs> A, final A. answer. Oh, correct. <laughs> this varies by property, but it'll cost your average property owner about $900 a year or $75 a month for the great services provided by the city. Now on to our $300 question. Which department takes up the largest portion of the city budget? Is it A, Parks and Recreation, B, Public Safety, C, Public Works, or D, Administration? B, Public Safety Department. Is that your final answer, Jane? Or maybe it's Public Works. Well, you do have the 50-50. I'll go for Public Safety Department. Is that your final answer? Yes, final answer. <laughs> That's right, indeed. B. 47% or about $423 will be used by the Public Safety Department. This includes police and fire protection and ambulance services. All of these things are there to help keep residents and their families safe. Now we're on to our $500 question, Jane. What is the total city operating budget for Cottage Grove? Is it A, 17.6 million, B, 100 million, C, 50 million, or D, 25 million? I'll go with the lowest. A, 17.6 million. Is that your final answer? Roger, it's my final answer. <laughs> That's right. A, the city isn't the only government body that provides services to residents through property taxes. So while part of your money goes to the city, some also goes to Washington County, the school district, other special taxing districts like the Watershed or Metropolitan Council and any voter approved referenda levies. And finally, any special assessments on your property, like if the road you live on was recently redone. Now, you're doing very well, Jane. You're one question away from the million dollar question. Are you ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. What percentage of the city budget goes towards parks and recreation? Is it A, 18%, B, 25%, C, 10%, or D, 2%? I use the services all the time. That would be C, final answer. Jane, that is fantastic. C is correct. Congratulations. Thank you. Besides offering a range of programs with activities, the Parks and Recreation Department also operates the River Oaks Golf Course and Event Center, as well as the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. So if you're looking for somewhere to skate, play a few rounds of golf, or maybe even hold a special event, like a wedding or, or banquet, they've got you covered. You've been doing a great job, Jane. In fact, we are now on to our final question. This will determine whether you're going to be a millionaire. If anyone has questions about the city budget, who should they contact? 
A, Deputy City Clerk Neil Bellscamper, B, Senior Planner John Burbank, C, Project Engineer Nate Estrom, or D, Finance Director Robin Rowland? D, Robin Rowland? D, is that your final answer, Jane? It is, in fact. Congratulations, Jane, you're a millionaire. That's fantastic. Now, if you have questions, contact Robin Rowland, the city's finance director, by calling 651-458-2832 or by emailing her at rroland at cottagegrovemn.gov. Also, to learn more about the city, go to cottagegrovemn.gov. Roger Philborn here, along with Jane Smith, our latest millionaire. Thank you for watching.